Hello, boys and girls. I'm your Peter Pan storyteller. When you hear this sound, turn the page. This is the story of Jack and the Beanstalk. Once was a poor little boy named Jack, whose poor old mother wasn't feeling very well. They had nothing left but a poor old cow, which they finally decided to sell. Well, Jack didn't act very smart, it seems, for he traded the cow for a handful of beans. When Jack got home, his mother was angry, so she threw the beans out the window. And Jack and his mother went to bed hungry. In the morning, Jack looked outside, and there was a huge beanstalk which had grown up overnight. Jack was very curious, so he started to climb. Up, 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 up so high. Jack climbed the beanstalk way up to the sky. Up, up, up. When he got to the top, Jack found a giant castle, and he heard a loud rumbling voice. Wife, bring me my magic hen that lays golden eggs. Now, turn the record over, and we will continue on the other side. After the hen had laid a few golden eggs, the giant dozed off to sleep. Jack grabbed the hen and ran back to the beanstalk. Down, down, down to the ground. Jack came down the beanstalk and home safe and sound. Jack gave the hen to his mother and told her about the golden egg. Now they didn't have to go hungry. But Jack was still curious about the giant. So again he started to climb. Up, up, up so high. Jack climbed the beanstalk way up to the sky. Up, up, up. Jack was hiding in the castle when he heard the giant shout. Wife, bring me my magic heart. The harp played beautiful music all by itself. Soon the giant was asleep. Jack grabbed the harp and started to run. But the harp played so loud, the giant woke up and started to chase Jack as he ran back to the beanstalk. Down, down, down to the ground. Jack came down the beanstalk and home safe and sound. Jack ran and got his axe. Then he chopped down the beanstalk just as the giant was climbing down after him. There was an awful crash. Oh, oh, I'm falling! The giant made such a big hole in the ground, he hasn't been heard from since. So, that's what happened to Jack and his handful of beans. 